to the channel this week my name is Priscilla I'm an Indian woman to a designer based in the UK this video is going to be a sewing vlog where I take you guys on the journey of creating the most beautiful maxi pleated dress you have ever seen like oh the outcome is so breathtaking basically I share how I cut the dress pieces join them together i take you to the pleating studio show you how the pleating is done this video is done in collaboration with cement pleat who is uh, a pleating studio like a family-run business based in the uk and I actually visited there last year you guys loved that video so i just thought it made sense to bring you another one a part two because he liked the first one so much so i'm going to be taking you through the full process hopefully you find this inspiring to watch and will give you some ideas for your summer projects so make sure to keep on watching i've divided this video into segments so it's easy to consume give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it share it with anyone that you think will find it useful and with that being said let's get into this video <laughs> Uh, the fabrics I'm going to be combining to make the maxi dress this is a silk satin and I got it in ivory and I got it in uh, peach as well these two fabrics are actually from one of my previous collection the Omote collection where I made like these really nice versatile robes but what I'm going to be doing is having the cream as a top and then I'm going to have the peach as the bottom I may make like a swirly seam so <laughs> There is like an interesting detail but i just thought these two looked so cool together and i'm going to be quickly cutting them before we head off to the studio okay so i have cut the top half of the maxi dress and this area in the front this is the neckline the neckline width from there to there is about 3.5 inches and then I drew in the arm curve, which is about 10 inches length from that top to this end. And then I literally just had a straight line go from the underarm to the hem. Now the length of the top half is roughly 39 inches. Now the hemline is where I got a bit creative. I just literally drew it by hand. I did a, a beach wave, a swirly line, and I added three notches this is going to help me cut the bottom half that's where i added the notches and when i'm cutting this i'll just cut with a half an inch seam allowance around so i'm able to join the pieces together again after we're done doing the pleating on them <laughs> So I have all of the panels of the dress cut out. This long strip at the bottom is going to be the collar or like neckband strap that would tie either to the side or to the back. We have the top half of the dress that measures 39 inches. Then I use the same shape of the swirly at the hem to cut the top of the bottom piece that is in peach. And I started adding a pop of color on the bottom of the dress would be something fun. So this bottom piece measures roughly 10 inches and I just mirrored the shape of that line to the bottom half. So I'm going to connect them together for the front and the back before doing the pleating. Then last minute I thought why not add a pocket? Dresses are always nice with pockets so I just added two pairs of in normal um, inseam pockets and I have all of my pieces ready. Priscilla, how are you doing? Welcome in. Come in. So 
So today, I think we'll be doing a dress since we did a skirt the last time. Um, like you advised me to do, I did hem the bottoms. Yeah. I mean, they're not as nice as the pin hem you told me to do, but um, hopefully this would work. That would be good. So it's, uh, it's an alternate dress. Yeah. It's, it's really long because I know the pleating reduces the like the length of the garment a little bit depending yeah, on. So slightly. Feet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I have the front and the and back. But I don't, I don't know what pleat to do. Oh. I don't know. Should I get some, um, some, some samples out? You can have yeah, a look. yeah, yeah, I think that would be amazing. Right, let me show you some of the stuff that we got. Okay. This nice. is made no, no, specifically for a customer years and years ago, which is why. It still looks so beautiful. I think this is just what fascinates me about it. It's like the, the zigzag in there just gives it more personality. Mm -hmm. Um, but it has two shovels zigzagging through it. Oh, wow. Man, it's going to be tough to pick just one yeah. today. It's going to be really, really tough. Is it possible to have the placement higher or lower for this one? Uh, yeah, we, we've got a couple of patterns, so we can move that ever so slightly, but not, not hugely. Mm. It is brand new. Um, we only made it at uh, end of last year when uh, during the pandemic when we didn't have a lot of work so we mm. started designing. Mm. Oh, this, uh, this one's called Razor. I don't know if it's because it's on yellow because yellow is my favourite colour. This is really beautiful. Oh, so gorgeous. It's like a double sunray almost that crisscrosses. Yeah. That is amazing. Well this one is called Scallop. But you can have two sides to it. Mm. So you got this oh, side. Oh, okay. Um, so this but side it, dips, but it dips in. It dips in, but then oh. if you want the uh, dip to go out, mm. we just turn the fabric over. And you see. Oh man, that is impressive. So I have Maya with me. She's um, Matt's daughter. She's gonna show me some amazing options of very unique pleats. Okay, so what are you going to show me first? Well, this one's one of my favourites. It's actually, it looks like it's been weaved. It's actually been folded, as you can see. That's on so the back. cool. When I saw it for the first time, I thought it was actually like woven together, yeah. but that's a beautiful texture on the surface. Well, my grandparents, they have it on some cushions in their house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, what else? Oh, also this one. Um, Ooh. It's like an Elizabethan collar. That's what it's called. And wow. Is it like folded in the bottom? I think so. Yeah, it's been folded like that. Oh, wow. And then it like rolls back in. Yeah. That is gorgeous. And it's kind of the same texture as the natural Elizabethan collar mm. would have been. This one, it's called tortoise shell and it kind of actually looks like the shells on the tortoise's back. Yeah, do you know what it reminds me of? You know the roof that has the, I don't know if they have them in the UK, but they have these type of roofs to ha help rain, sort of like drain. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah drain down the roof. That's, that's what it looks like to me. Okay, so would you like to show me um, your favourite one? One that you can imagine yourself wearing, maybe on a dress or in a jacket, pair of trousers. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's like a normal flat pleat, but then it's got this at the bottom, it kind of makes it look more like a skirt. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, this is nice, amazing choice. Thank you so much, Maya. <laughs> Some amazing options here. I know the one I want. Uh, I am just struggling a bit because I like this one as well. But I feel like I am inclined more to this because I have a thing for like round shapes and silhouettes. So this, what did we call this one? The scallop? The scallop, yeah. The scallop. scallop sunray. I think it's a good choice. Yeah, I think this is look absolutely stunning on the, on the dress. I'm excited. Me too. Shall Let's we, get pleating. Shall we do this? Hey. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, so first of all, what we have to do is we have to get the pattern as flat as possible. Mm -hmm. And obviously, each pleating pattern has two parts to it. Okay. So there's the top and the bottom part, and they're both exactly the same. So we use these clips just to clip onto the bench so that we can pull it out as tight as possible. Okay. So if I come round. Okay, so what we've done is we've flattened this out as, as much as we possibly can. Mm. Okay, um, the secret to pleating is to get the bottom pattern as flat as you can. Okay. So show me your um, your dress. Oh wow, lovely. This one is part of it. Okay. Um, and you want the you want the shiny side as your right side, yeah? Yes, yes. Right, so we need to be on a down point. So, mm. so you How's that look to you? You reckon that be okay? Yeah, that looks good to me. Yeah. Um, I think because the pattern is big, we can fit the front and the back of the dress. In one pattern. In one pattern. Yeah, makes oh, that's it easy. really good. Um, so like this ends that came out, yeah. would we have to like pleat them in by hand or? Yeah, you can do that or you can leave them unpleated. Do you want to um, help me? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Pleating. You're pleating. Yeah. I am pleating. Oh my, as long as I don't mess up. <laughs> oh, wow. fingers crossed. <laughs> I can blame you now. Oh so no! Yeah. <laughs> and I'll get you just to clip for me. So, hang on one second, don't clip until I say, because I've got to line it, line it up perfectly. There we go. Clip. That's it. Mine would just help with this one because I can't see. I'll clip that over the over the fabric. Over the fabric. Fine, yeah. That's it. You see these irons, these weights, they're old irons, and they used to heat them up on the stove and then iron the fabric and feel how heavy that is. Oh wow. Yeah. That is a like proper heavy. How, how heavy is that? Yeah. That's 16 pounds. Just clip but it back onto the bench. That's okay. right. And the other one for me. Okay, so as you can see, we've unclipped, but it's still as flat as we can keep keep mm. it. Okay. So we move. We we put your fingers in and we move towards it. Okay, you've got to go, you've got to push with the pleating. If you pull, then what you do is you pull the, end up pulling the fabric mm. and then and it all goes wrong. So you have mm. to push like that. And the weight's off. Mm. And what we do now is... Feel if it's gone wrong, you can see that looks good.
I just popped the pleated dress in the steam cabinet it's going to marinate there for 29 minutes and in the meantime I'm going to ask him some of your questions that you guys shared on Instagram so the first question is <coughs> what would you say is the best way to maintain like a pleated fabric whether that's done with you or that it's a garment bought in the high street what would you recommend as the best way to maintain pleated garments so it will depend on the fabric that you use mm. um, so most pleated garments use a polyester uh, for the simple reason it's the easiest to maintain mm. a polyester uh, pleated skirt whether you buy it from uh, the high street or uh, you, you send the polyester to us and, and, and do it, you can stick it on a washing machine at 30 degrees and then hang it up to dry. Mm. You can't tumble dry anything. Mm. Um, definitely no tumble drying because that just heats it up and all the pleats will disappear. Oh, okay. um, so no tumble drying, but you can hand wash and then uh, drip dry. Okay. Um, and it's probably best to, to, to not have a, a, a big spin on it either um, when you're rinsing. Oh, okay. But uh, if you're gonna use, um, a fabric like silk mm. then there's only one way and that's send it to a dry cleaner but it has to be a specialist dry cleaner a specialist dry cleaner who knows how to deal with pleats um, and it takes a lot longer to clean so it does become much more expensive to mm. do who has been or what has been your most exciting job or client <laughs> wow um, <laughs> I think that projects that we have to get involved with in making the patterns tend to be the ones that pique my interest mm -hmm. um, uh, but I mean we all sorts of things that the last year everything we've been doing is costumes for Marvel films DC comic film Disney wow. films um, we've got a big order at the moment for a Disney project which um, so you know it's the variety that we get through it's just incredible and uh, it's good to see in different fabrics mm. and, and it's, always, it's also nice when our, our most famous customer um, sends us work. Um, oh. She doesn't do it personally, she gets her dressmakers. So the Queen sends us work. Um, oh, wow. we've, done, we've done three dresses for her in the last year so um, I don't know where, where she's going to wear them. Um, so when she's next appearing in public maybe you'll see her wearing a pleated dress that we did. Mm. Um, and one of, the, one of the best things we did, 2019, um, we did a lot of pleating for a, a Dutch company called uh, uh, Victor and Rolf. And oh, yes. their, their collection went absolutely viral and that was all our pleating. Um, and it, it, it was big, big uh, dresses that had lots of underlayers and we used a crystal pleat, really tiny thin pleat. Um, we did hundreds of meters of, of pleating for them um, and when something goes like that and viral and then people comment and mm. that's always nice, mm. that's always nice mm. when um, people see that and appreciate the work that we do. Mm. So I know the the last one year has been really like tough on a lot of like independent, <coughs> family run, small businesses. How? How would you say uh, has the company like pivoted that the last one year in terms of like you know staying busy, staying relevant? Like what have you guys been doing proactively? Um, well, one of the proactive things was contacting you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, sending out, sending out an email and a comment yeah. on one of your videos, and, yeah. and luckily you saw it mm. and you, you came in. So that was one of the things we did. The other thing um, we are in the process of doing is we have our own YouTube channel. Oh, um, if you can send, well, you, you can link to it in, mm. uh, in your video here. Yeah. Um, and on there, there's a <clears throat> there's a small video, um, like a time lapse video of how we make a sunray pattern, mm. um, and, it, and that's got a huge amount of interest. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do uh, a series of videos where we show step by step how to make this pattern mm. so if anyone's interested in doing that subscribe to our channel um, and uh, when those videos come out then you'll see them it's a it's a family run business yeah. and it's just so beautiful to see like your dad was working here and now you're here and yeah i it's very rare to find traditional businesses <clears throat> like that nowadays so like meeting you and your wife and maya and the little one today was really really nice to see so oh, um you. let's see how the how yeah. the future goes we'll see we'll see where we go from there <laughs> yeah <laughs>
unraveling. The unraveling. The unboxing. The revelation of the dress. Why am I so high? <laughs> How nice does that look? Should we turn it over? I actually feel like I'm going to cry. Why do I get so like... Let's turn oh, it over. Oh wow. Oh that is so pretty. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it's like so sharp as well. Oh that is gorgeous. Oh, this was a risk worth taking. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It, it worked because yeah, yeah, I was yeah. really worried. And then you can see like the, the scallops and the edges and here. They're in the right place as oh well. Oh my aren't god. They? Yeah. Thank you so much. My I pleasure. Had such Thanks an for coming. Amazing time. I cannot wait to like put this all together. I'd love to see it when you're done. I will send you pictures. I will tag you on Instagram. Amazing. And um, I'm excited for this. Um, if you guys are curious to find out what the finished outcome, make sure to keep watching till the end. Check out F Cement Fleet on, on Instagram. And then you guys have a website as well. All links will be down below. But this has been so fun. I'm going to head back home to my studio and continue working on this piece bye bye okay so it is a completely different day today i think it's like today's monday and we went to the studio on saturday so i have the pleated dress here i'm going to unwrap it with you guys so you see roll it out so i have my pleated dress here as you can see this dress is going to be so nice you know when you just know your heart of hearts when something's going to turn out so elegant it's so cute and there will be nothing like this out there like absolutely nothing so i've gone in to pin the pocket along the side and i have put right sides together of the pocket against the dress and along the side seam here now the distance from under the arm to the top of the pocket is 11 inches and I did the same thing for the other side. Here is a closer look of the pleats on the dress and you can see the scallop details run down through like every other pleat. And I'm just going to go in to fix the pockets. So stitch this is like that, stitch it across that side as well. Repeat the same thing for the other side of the dress and then turn them out and join the side along like this all the way to the hem. So I'm just going in first to stitch the side panels of the pockets into the side seam of the dress. I did this for the left and for the right hand side. Then I placed right sides together and pinned the entire side seam for both sides of the dress in place. And I went in to stitch this and did a zigzag stitch to secure my seam. And after doing that, just sort of like set the piece aside so I could work on the collar piece that this dress has. Now the collar piece itself is like a really long um, strap that I joined first up this corner here because I wanted it to be really really long and after stitching it up I gave it a little press before setting it on the dress like this. Now this helped me to estimate how much I needed to stitch and how much I needed to leave open. So you need to leave the about this much open for the back neckline and about the same amount for the front neckline leaving the part that goes over the shoulder like stitched up in place and then stitch up the rest of the collar piece so you start from one end so all the way to where you have your front or back neckline depending on when you start from and leave that area open 
and once you have that done you need to go back and give it a nice press and pin the neckline into the front and the back as you can see i've stitched up that place that is like between the back and the front neckline so i'm just going to take this to my machine and i'm going to be using a slim edge stitch to sew the collar into place i did a pair of this just to ensure that it was secured and in place guys i mean mm, mm. it's chisels hey see person picking I realized there are actually more than one way to wear this piece. So I've just dropped the collar like this and you have a one shoulder evening wear option. No, somebody needs to book me a ticket somewhere like right now. Someone needs to book me a ticket somewhere nice where I can show up this dress because all this cannot just be in vain. No, 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 no. Ah, how about now? You guys be the judge, like look at this. I didn't even think about this. I know what the dress was like, wait though. Let's drop the shoulder one side. I see, like, you can still tie it um, alternate like that if you want to do this. So you can fold the collar piece this way or you can have it tall. You can still do this. So this is another way to wear it. But I almost feel like I prefer it like this. Content, if you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone that you think would enjoy it. Uh, comment below what you guys thought about this. If you have any other suggestions, uh, recommendations, what garment I should try out next, then leave a comment as well. But with that being said, bruv, like, I need to find somewhere to go. Like, I'll see you guys next time. Hmm? Maybe in another continent. We'll see about that, okay? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>